Shepard. Colton Pack is here with us this morning. What's, what's happening? What works? <laughs> How are you doing, doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, you're looking good, brother. Well, thank you. Yeah. Looking good yourself. Well, oh, God, thanks. <laughs> I, try, I try to ugly it up every morning, brother. Hey, uh, Restless Road. Good Lord, did you ever think all this was just going to explode as it has? I didn't. I mean, it's been it's been the most incredible journey. And, I mean, it's I think it's thanks to uh, people who... Uh, are from around here and people who are in Andrew's hometown and Zach's hometown and not only that people around the world who voted for us I mean it's just been it's been incredible to think that because of you guys I mean you 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 are the ones who made our dreams come true I mean we, we got to do what we loved each and every day because of you guys so thank you well man let's start out with uh, let's start on your journey uh, on the X Factor you guys got put together um, man you made it all the way uh, to the top six uh, man, what was that like? Week after week after week, uh, uh, getting songs together and uh, performing for a nationwide audience, and knowing that millions of folks around the world are watching you perform. I mean, I think it was it was extremely. I mean, there's a, I don't think I've ever had an exhilarating experience like that. I mean, it was unbelievable. But uh, I mean, it was the weeks were stressful leading up to to the show. I mean, it was just. It was crazy. We had several songs to learn each and every week, and I mean, you had a little bit of time, and then Simon a couple times liked to switch our songs on us last minute, so I mean, we had to be able to adjust, and uh, uh, I mean, but I wouldn't trade any of the experience that we had and any of the, I mean, because we went through several several tough things, but I think it made us better as a group, and it definitely brought our uh, our chemistry together on stage and I think we grew a lot during the competition now you guys I mean you really really had to uh, is when Simon put you guys together um, you, you became super friends you learned a lot about each other here what over the past six seven months and uh, now Lord can we get some insight of what's happening next for Restless Road yeah a little bit um, <laughs> I can't say too much but, I, know, uh, I got you I got you um, but as of right now, I mean, yes, we are sticking together. I mean, that's right. that's a that's a definite. I, I think we would be dumb not to. But um, we're just uh, there's there's some things. Let's just say that it's not it's not the end of Restless Road, and that you'll be seeing a lot of us in 2014. Wow, wow! Now, when Simon put you guys together, I'm sure you all had a lot of talks in the studio. Did he expect this out of you guys? Um. I think when he put us together, I mean, you always hope that, I mean, when you put together a group like that, that something something will come of it. I mean, but not everyone's going to be the next One Direction. I mean, it, it was, and I think when he put us together, I mean, he had high hopes for us, but I don't think that he ever thought that he would get the kind of feedback that he did, and I never thought that we'd get the feedback that we did. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. And, uh, I th but I don't think that, uh, Without him, we would have made it anywhere close to as far as what we did. I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable. I mean, we, I think we had the best. Now, I got to talk about the uh, Keith Urban tune. You guys did somebody like you, that four chair challenge. When you all belted that one out, I mean, you're, that, that was the first time. And as you hear, my little one is in the background because she's hollered, Colton, 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 <laughs> every time. And, uh, but, anyways, um, what was that like performing Keith Urban's song? Um, I think that that was that was definitely one of the most special ones. I mean, to me, because I mean, it was the first time we had ever come together as a group, and we had spent the whole month prior to that working on that song and getting ready. We didn't know how people would react, and we didn't know if one of us would mess up or how anything would go. And I mean, it was. I think that that was the most nervous I ever was on the show. I mean, because it was the first time, but. I think that at the same time, that was the best feeling that I've had on the show. I mean, that moment when we all started singing and we hit the chorus and we all come together and we were harmonizing, I don't think people expected that, really. It was, uh, and I mean, just the reaction that we got was absolutely incredible. Can you believe the support that you've got so far, not from the younger demographic, but the older demographic of audience thus far? I mean, that video alone on YouTube has already pushed 2 million 
uh, views on YouTube, man. And uh, you guys are really not even a signed group yet, and you've got over 2 million people that have seen that video alone. Just that one. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't, I can't even comprehend 2 million people. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't even imagine that many people. And just to think that they all sit and watch our video, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's incredible. And I think to, like, all the people who you said, like, I mean, it's crazy that not only are we appealing to a younger audience, but we're appealing to an older audience. And I think that that's, uh, I think that's what we have to do to be successful. I mean, you can't just appeal to one audience and one kind of audience. It's, uh, it's the kind of, I guess, superstars are made of when they have a huge, a huge fan base. Not only, I mean, it's, uh, this is just an example, like, um, like One Direction, for instance, mm -hmm. when uh, I met them, I mean, they, their fans not only were young people, but I was seeing their, like, girls' mothers going crazy over them, and I think that that's the kind of stuff uh, that makes them who they are and why they are so successful, because not only does their music appeal to a younger audience, but it also appeals to an older audience, too, and I think that that's, that's what you have to do to be successful. Well, you've appealed to my two-year-old who's in the back <laughs> making noise, so God bless you. Thank you for that, well, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk more with Colton, and now we'll hear some Restless Road music in just a moment. My 105.9. and isn't the kind of song you would actually expect them to sing. It is broken down. It's going to be very noticeable if any of our parts are off, so we have to make sure that we blend well. I love doing these stripped-down versions. If it's as good as I heard in rehearsals, I think it's going to be the best they've done so far in this competition. I do. There's only four spots in the semifinals, and one of them has to be for us. Restless Road! <laughs> Darkness got it by a beating heart. I can't tell where the journey was, but I know where to start. Tell me I'm too young to understand. You say I'm caught up in a dream. Life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes. Well, that's fine by me. So wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wiser and I'm older. All this time I was finding myself. And I didn't know I was lost. I tried carrying. And Zach, y'all have grown so much vocally. Colton, it just makes everything stronger. Congratulations on a great performance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Um, you're making me cry right now, so stop crying. I try not to. It's so I'm, crazy. I, you're not in my category, but I'm really proud of you, and I feel like that was so beautiful. And you just earned your spot in the finals. 
My 105.9 WTNJ. It's uh, Restless Road and uh, Wake Me Up. God has a killer performance. Well, thank you. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah, I know you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was that was definitely my favorite performance. I'm yeah. glad you cut it off before I started crying. I don't want you crying, man. <laughs> I don't want no tears shedding in this studio. We enjoying ourselves. Ain't we cool, girl? Yo! All right. Time for the question phase of the show. Questions. Good Lord. Yeah, by the way, thank you, Cindy, for all these emails I got. So uh, power let's of see. It's the power of Twitter. The power of Twitter. Hey, let's go to Mexico. Oh. All right. This is from uh, Carla Gutierrez in Mexico. Okay. She actually has two questions for you. Uh, question number one What are you looking forward to in 2014? And question number two What is your favorite childhood memory? Okay, question one. Um, I think I'm looking forward to um, just, I mean, getting out there and just really hitting the road running with this and just hopefully being on a tour with uh, someone in country music. I think that's what I'm probably looking forward to most in 2014. And my favorite childhood memory, um, I don't know, I think... I think a big a big one for me was when I sang at our school talent show in the ninth grade. That was kind of the first uh, first time I ever really had the confidence to sing, and uh, I think that that was kind of where I got my start. So probably that. Cool, that's awesome. She says to tell you uh, they really support you, and she is a proud roadie. Well, thank you. So we'll pass that along. All right, here we go. Next question. This one comes from Betty Fury. And uh, Betty sends lots of love, and she was wondering if Simon or anyone has signed you guys, and Restless Road is awesome. Well, um, there is talk, and Simon said that he has. Simon says, look at that, right? <laughs> um, he said that he has some good news for us in the new year, so we're okay. supposed to meet with him and see what it is. Now, are you meeting in L.A. or are you meeting in Nashville? Um, it hasn't been determined yet. Okay, so I think we're we're just yeah, waiting. That fancy house that y'all was on on TV. Oh man. man, that was a nice house. Very nice. All right, let's see here. I got a slew of questions here from uh, McKenna in Clearfield, PA. So I'm only going to throw a couple of them at you, okay? Because it's like uh, eight of them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, how crazy is it for you to have so many roadies and Instagram and Twitter followers? I think that that's one of the most unbelievable things. I mean, we we joke around all the time, but I mean, we I mean we love it. It's it's been crazy, and I mean, to think that we can post a picture now or or say something and it gets five five thousand retweets. I mean, or. 10,000 likes on Instagram. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I never, I never thought that I would ever be to that point. But I mean, thank you guys so much for that. Hold on one second. I'm going to add something in here. By the way, Colton's dying for some sweet tea. So oh, if somebody's man. listening, somebody stop by the studio here and drop the boy off some sweet tea. He can oh, really use sweet some. Tea. Yeah. So, Cindy, if uh, somebody stops by, bring the boy some sweet tea in. Yeah. All right, here we go, Colton. Next question. Uh, let's see. Are you open to being in a relationship while being actively involved in music? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I think that <laughs> my friend Nathan over here is laughing at it because, I mean. What, are you going to be a manager, dude? Or are you going to carry some equipment? No, what's funny is we were, we were kind of talking about this last night. And, oh, wow. Uh, actually, we were talking about this last night. Hey, I prepared. I prepared my work, son. Not about us, though. No, no it wasn't about no, me and Dave. It wasn't oh, about okay. me and Dave. Let's just clarify that. No, about me and another. About me and a girl. So. I got you. I got you. But yes, definitely, I would be open to it. All right. All right. One more question here for uh, for McKenna in Clearfield. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? What are you doing, man? Are you awake yet? I am. I okay. think. I hope so. All right. Good. Uh, your favorite non-country group or individual? Hmm, that's a good one. Um, favorite? I would say One Direction. Okay. One Direction. I have so much respect for those guys. I mean, they're incredible musicians, and kind of. I, I mean, now to see, I kind of got to see how their journey was because I mean, we experienced the same kind of journey, and I mean, just to to be where they were, they were where we were three years ago and I mean just to look back now and see 
how far they've come just in three short years. I mean, it's just been absolutely incredible. Right. And, I mean, they, they've they just, like, took the world by storm. They have. I mean, it's just unbelievable. All right, so uh, say hi to McKenna in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Hi, McKenna. Thank you for the questions in go. Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Ooh, boy, but she's happy lady this morning. All right, let's see here. We've got questions from Kat, who says this is sent from the great state of uh, West Virginia. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's a question for you. What's a pickup line of yours? I had to throw that in there. Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, what's a pickup line of yours? All right, well, what you do is you go behind you and you say, you check their tag and you say, I was just checking to see if you were made in heaven. Or, Whoa. I know, sh let me tell you. You got it, brother. <laughs> I like it. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I stole that from Zach. I have no pickup lines. I, I have no for, game whatsoever. I'll wait for Zach to call. <laughs> He's probably listening in right now and being like, that was my line. <laughs> it was mine. Slap him. <laughs> what does a girl have to do to impress you? Um, I don't think there's really much of anything i mean impressing wise i just think be yourself and uh be yourself i mean and just just have fun i'm just a normal guy i'm not cool i'm not anyone anyone crazy so i mean just literally be yourself and i promise you i like you good deal all right good question there all right let's check this one out um colton this is from come here cindy Give me a pronunciation of that name right here. Cindy's my help this morning. Uh, Naha. 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 What is it like? Wait, being... do, do we know where Naha is from? Uh, no. I, if she's listening in, there is, I don't know if this is the same Naha, but there was a girl in California who I ran into several times, and she would come to all of the shows. Okay. And I ran into her, her name was Naha, so that's what I was just wondering. It, uh, her last name is like Baraji. Bar it begins with a B H A R A. I don't know. I don't remember what her last name was. I don't know. I okay. Don't know what it was. Well, here's a question. It says, "Hi, Colton. What's it like being in a group, and how has your life changed after the X Factor?" Um, it's been incredible. I mean, when we were put in a group, I think all three of us were kind of like, "What's going on?" Um, I mean, we were definitely. We were definitely up for the challenge. I mean, and we knew it was going to be a challenge. I mean, being three solo acts and have to conform to be in a group. And I think that um, just being on the X Factor was the most incredible journey. I mean, looking back now, I th I don't think there was any better platform that we could have could have been on to um, help us step out into uh, the country music industry and I mean I think that the X Factor definitely helped us and I mean thanks to Simon Cow, we wouldn't even be Restless Herd so I mean it's been it's just been unbelievable it really has tell you what we're going to take a listen to uh, a song that I was uh, I was amazed when I was told you guys are going to do this song uh, oh. Roar Roar tell me about this before I play this snippet of Roar from the show um when we heard that we were going to be singing Roar when Simon told us, we, Zach's, actually, Zach's reaction, I think, told it the best. He was like, did you take your medicine today? I mean, it was just like, really, Roar? I mean, we, we, were, we were not expecting that whatsoever, and, uh, but we trusted him. I mean, we really did. We, we knew that he wasn't going to steer us in the wrong direction, and we went into it with an open mind, and actually, I think it turned out to be one of the bigger songs that we had on the show so i mean it's crazy to think that uh not even a country song was one of our bigger was one of our bigger songs all right before we hear that last question comes to us from north carolina bertha asks can she hear Teresa's voice i hate you nathan i hate you so much why that's the question okay. you're giving to me man listen so I'll just have to give you a quick little insight on this. All right, give me some insight. Nathan is like one of my best friends. All right. And I've grown up with him for a long time, and we've Will known he, each other for Let forever. me ask you this question. Will he live after he lives? Probably he not. Here? Okay. No, I'm just okay. kidding. You know. <laughs> but we we have like the craziest sense of humor, and we never, we never are serious ever. And uh, we went on this long trip to D.C., and somehow these crazy voices 
decided to come out. I mean, we this will just tell you, we went on like a six-hour trip and did not once turn on the radio or listen to any music. And that would just tell you how entertained we were with ourselves and with everyone else. Oh, dear Lord. It was that bad. But this is our, this is our, no, come over here. Ready? Here. Yeah. This is our conversations we have when we see each other. I go, Bertha? Teresa? Bertha, where are you? I'm here, Teresa. Are you I'm, there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sitting right here in the radio station <laughs> hanging out with folks at 10, what is it, 105.9. 105.9 WTNJ. My radio. Station. My radio station, yeah, yep. Does. That's us, yep. Hey, sure Teresa. is. Good to see you. Good bye. to see you, Bertha. <laughs> So that's kind of Bertha and Teresa. That's our alter egos, I guess you could say. We're we're quite nuts. Hold on, hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. I'm never going to be able to live this radio interview down. I'm All right. It, it would be a plate. It would be, be Oh, dear God. <laughs> he can't even get a hold of himself. I guess I'm going to have to take a look at the show here. Oh, no. Here's the thing. I've got it. If this music career doesn't go, my God, company will work for baby. you, brother. <laughs> We're going to listen to Roar, take a break, and we'll be back. My 105.9. Yeah. voice, you hear that sound. Black Thunder going to shake. You held me down, but I got up. You get ready, because I've had enough. I see it all, I see it now. I've got the eye of the time. Hey everyone, I'm Colton Pack. I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm Zach Beacon. And we're Restless Road. And you're listening to My 105.9 WTNJ. My 105.9 WTNJ Sports is brought to you by the... You're doing a station liner for us, did you? Huh? Uh-huh. I know. It's pretty crazy. I think my mic's about to fall out. Yeah, don't let it fall. Hey, we're back. 840 Ugly Colton Pack in the studio. And good Lord have mercy did we just get blown away with an acapella. Yeah, Nathan Kessler, guys, if you haven't heard of him, you're going to. He's pretty incredible. Did that bring chills to your spine or what? A.K.A. Bertha. <laughs> Bertha. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We, we, we thought we weren't going to do this, but I think we're going to take two or three calls here. 304-253-WTNJ, if you've got a question for Colton, you want to talk about Restless Road or talk about his uh, journey uh, to Restless Road and uh, through the X Factor, or you just like to give a nice compliment to him and his family, uh, give us a call, 304-253-WTNJ, and uh, we'll put you on and let you uh, chat with Colton a minute or two, and pff, bam, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. Let's go to the phones, and uh, we'll grab line one, and uh, we're going to say, hello, who's this? Emily. Hi, Emily. Where are you calling from? Daniel. Emily's in Daniel's. Emily, say hi to Colton. Hi, Colton. Hey, Emily. How are you? Good. What's um, your what's your question? Um, what do you think has changed the most from the first time you performed till now? Um, from the first time I performed till now, that's a great question. Um, I think just kind of um, our level of confidence was a big thing. I mean, the first time we performed, I don't think that we were really confident as a group. And uh, I mean, the last song we performed was "Wanted," and I think that that was. Uh, one of our one of our best performances so i think i mean just a lot of things have changed i mean but i think a big thing was our confidence all right well i'm a big grody fan well thank you i appreciate you're it you're welcome all right there you go you liked wanted didn't you i loved wanted I god that's I a killer tune it yeah. is i love that 304-253-WTNJ we're gonna go over here to line two hey hello who's this hey this is dennis ramsey hey dennis how are you sir yeah, not too bad. How you doing this morning? Uh, we're doing well. Say hi to Colton Pack. How you doing, Colton? How you doing, Dennis? Yeah, not too bad. I just wanted to call you to tell you that uh, y'all are uh, the best that I've ever heard. Uh, in my humble opinion, y'all are right up next to Alabama. Wow. That... Um, 
Wow. I mean, you know, y'all are just out of this world, and I love y'all's music. And I, I just wish the best for you, and I hope all your dreams come true. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That, right, that's incredible. Y'all take care. Right, you, you too. Dennis, thank you, buddy. Man, that's a big compliment. Alabama. Wow. Compares them to Alabama. Did you hear that? That's huge. So let's go to line three here. WT and J. All right, they got scared and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, comparing you to Alabama, dude, that's huge. That is. I, that's that's wow. crazy. That's awesome. Man alive. That's just. I don't think we're not Alabama. We're not any Alabama. You could hopefully, be. Hopefully, hopefully one day. You could be. All right, here we got another lines ringing. Hi, WT and J. Who's this? Daryl Man Jr. Daryl Man Jr. Say hi to Colton Pack. Hi, Colton. How you doing, Daryl? Oh, pretty good. First of all, I'd like to congratulate y'all on y'all's journey getting as far as you did. And I think you sound a lot like Rascal Flats myself. Oh, I've, we've got that from a lot of people. I mean, but I, I really do. I, I appreciate it. And thank you so much for all your support. And I want you to know I voted 400 and sometimes for you this last time. Wow. Uh, that get you in there. That's unbelievable. Thank you so I much. I every week that y'all was on there. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I appreciate and it. And I thank you so much for voting. Daryl, thanks for calling, buddy. Okay, man. All right, we'll see you. WTNJ, hi, who's this? Hi, this is Keisha. Hi, Keisha. Where are you calling from? Canada. Keisha's in Canada. Canada. Hey, Keisha, how's it going in Canada? <laughs> Great. All right, say, <laughs> say hi to Colton Pack. Oh, hi, Colton. How are you, Keisha? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. I think she's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Calling from Canada, that's, that's, that's incredible. That's awesome. Go ahead, Keisha. What's your question? Um, what comment from the judges stuck with you the most throughout the competition? Um, oh, that, wow. I think... I think probably when we sang Wake Me Up, um, when Kelly said you left it all out there on the floor, um, I think that that really, as you could see, it got to all of us on stage. Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. it was just, um, I think that that's pro probably the comment that stuck with us the most. I mean, because that's what we had to do each and every week. And um, we're glad that it finally showed on TV that we did leave it all out there. So I think that was probably the one. Did you catch that? <laughs> that was a great performance. I think it got to all of us too. Thank you. That thank you so much. <laughs> she's just I laughing. think she's starstruck, buddy. <laughs> hey <laughs> Keisha, thank you so much for calling from Canada. God bless and hope you have a great new year. Oh, you too. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank bye you, bye. Keisha. Keisha from Canada. Let's grab this line and say hi W T and J. Who are we talking with? This is Martha. Is that Teresa there? Is this, wait, did what? you, is this Bertha? Is this Bertha? really Colton Pack? Yeah. Oh, Lord. We've unleashed a beast. Hi, hey, Bertha. I got a hold of him. I've been calling all day. Where have you been, Bertha? Uh, I'm in the office next door. Oh, dear Lord. What do you want now? Lots of things, but uh, I just wanted to say hi. Okay. Get it out. Say hi. Bye, honey. I, I love you. Bye, bye Bertha. <laughs> he, he's she, not right. He is not yeah, right. I, I'm worried. I'm real worried. All right. If you get a question for Colton Pack, besides Bertha, <laughs> besides Bertha, if you call back three zero four two five three W T and J, that was awesome. We got a call from Canada. Yeah, Canada. That was it was incredible. I never. These folks really love you, dude. Uh oh. All right. Here comes another call. Let me grab this line, and here we go. W T and J. Who's this? This is Rhonda. Rhonda, where are you from? Uh, Glade Springs. Rhonda Reed, I can tell Rhonda that voice anyway. <laughs> yes, you knew who it was. How are you, Rhonda? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. Talk to us, Rhonda. Okay. I was wanting to see. You know I'm a great fan. Love you, dear Colton. We miss you out here at Glade. I uh, just wanted to find out if you're going to be performing anywhere while you're home. Um, not that I know of as of right now. I mean, I'm kind of, I think, I think, I'm I'm not going to say I'm like burnout or anything, because I'm definitely not. I love singing. But uh, I think we're just trying to wait and see kind of what's going to 
what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. I mean, we're heading to Nashville at the beginning of January. I do know that. But okay. um, I think we're going to just try to take a break. But if, if I do, I'll let you know. Okay, definitely let me know because, you know, I want to come and listen to you sing if you do do anything, okay? Definitely. Thank you, Rhonda. And I'll have to okay. swing by and see you. Okay. And you take care. You too. I love you. You know that. Thank you. I love you all okay. too. Okay. Thanks. Uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Rhonda from Rhonda Glade Springs calling in to check in with Mr. Colton Pack and Restless Road. Restless Road. Yeah. <laughs> Heading to Nashville, big city. You love Nashville, don't you? I love it. I What's think- your favorite part of Nashville? Um, I don't know. I think the, I think the whole it, it kind of gives off a country feel, like that I love, but yet it's still a city, right. and I, I think I love that. I think that it's just it's. There, I don't think there's any other town like it. it yeah, really, isn't. it's awesome. I love it myself. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll take some more of your calls. Colton Pack in studio. We're talking Restless Road and the X Factor. You're listening to my 105.9 WTNJ. Here's your storm track. Big ugly wake up on your Tuesday on my 105.9, is our time. Colton Pack's here. And, uh, whew, gosh, just been a big journey for you, big man. It has. It's wow. Been, it's been incredible. I'm about to wrap up the year, and 2014 is going to explode. That's what I'm hoping. A restless road. Did oh, you try to make a rhyme right there? Yeah, I did. Actually, by the way, my mother-in-law just sent me a message on Facebook, and my little girl came into her house hollering, Colton, Colton, sing Restless Road. <laughs> so, just thought I'd tell you that. Pass She's that adorable. On. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go, phone. Somebody wants to talk to you. Let's go here. There's this line. And Hello, caller. Are you still there? Yes. All right. Who are we talking with? This is Betty Fury from Lewisburg, West Virginia. Betty's in Lewisburg. Say hi to Colton Pack. Hey, Colton. How are you, Betty? I'm good. I don't know, you don't know me, but I don't know if you know my little brother, Michael Workman. I do. Okay, I'm his sister. I do. And know. I voted several times for you all, well, ever since I knew you were on X Factor. Well, thank and, you so um, I think much. you were awesome. I don't know how y'all got voted off. Y'all were so good. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I, I appreciate it so much, and thank you so much for, for I've voting. I've been tweeting and tweeting and tweeting and tweeting. <laughs> how many tweets would you say you sent in on a night? Uh, I, I try to do it at least every day. You, ch- I'm sorry. Can you say it again? I try. I, I try to tweet at least every every day. That's wow. that's that's awesome. Took time to sign you guys. That's that, and that's the kind of support we have to have. And I mean, it's it's because of people like you is the reason we're going to. I mean, so just thank you so much for voting. Well, my husband put in a tweet last night to Simon and to ask Simon to please sign you guys. Because uh, so my wife would stop tweeting. Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's crazy. I mean, but yeah, seriously, thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. I hope you guys get signed. Has anyone signed you guys yet? Was no, my question. Not yet. We're uh, not yet. We're we're heading to Nashville. Um, there's there's talk, so we have to go see what all the talks about. There's got to be somebody. We're hoping so. Well, I hope y'all let us know as soon as you get signed. Oh, we definitely will. We'll Go bust the you. news first right here, Betty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be listening. All right, honey. Take care. Happy good, New Year. Good luck, guys. Happy New Year, buddy. You too, Colton. Bye-bye. That was sweet, man. That's yeah. an awesome call. 304-253-WTNJ. Got a couple minutes uh, for some more calls. Colton is just, like, raring to go. He's ready to hop the plane to Nashville, man. He's ready to get down and get down to business. I'm ready for some sweet tea. Yeah, has somebody brought sweet tea yet? I want to get it now. Is somebody gonna get it? Come on, woman, get some sweet tea. Y'all get it, Bertha. Get it, Bertha. Now. <laughs> I ain't got Good it. Good Lord, I get the man it. some sweet tea. I got it. We've unleashed Sorry, the monster. Sorry, I had to get some sweet tea to go. Okay. All right, let's ask another question from the uh, from the internet. The only reason you're asking me a question from the internet is because no one wants to talk to me. They do want to talk to you. <laughs> no, not Bertha. No, no more Bertha. Bertha. No more Bertha. Oh, did you have a question on the internet? Uh, did, um, we had a lot of people that were talking on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Kesha from Canada said thank you. Thank you. Kesha from Canada says thank you. Oh, yeah. If you're listening on WTNJFM.com, my co-director back here, the lovely Cindy Taylor, you can call us at area code 304-253-9865. That's area code 304-253-9865. And uh, we'll hook you up directly with uh, 
Colton Pack. Tell Bromance that she needs to call. Uh, Bromance, you need to call. Uh, I want to call him. Madeline says she wants to call in, but she's too nervous, Colton. Oh, come on. Don't be nervous. Yeah. Don't so be nervous. Tell Madeline to call. Madeline, please call. I want to talk to you. Please. Okay. All right. Uh, Jessica Simon wants to know, what's your favorite music video and why? Hmm. Whoa. My favorite music video and why? Yeah. I love doing this show, man. This just makes my day. I don't know. That's... You have a favorite music video. That's tough. Like that really is tough. Probably, probably life is a highway because it's the cars video, man. Oh yeah, no, that's fun. <laughs> no, I mean I don't. I really oh, don't know. There is a line ringing. Oh, there is a line ringing. Let's grab this line and we'll say good morning, WTNJ. Who are we talking with? Laura. Laura, where are you from? Nimitz. Laura from Nimitz. Say hi to Colton Pack. Hi, Colton. How are you, Laura? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. That's great. Uh, well, congratulations on all your success so far. I think um, you've set uh, a high standard for all the younger adults and even the children who want to pursue a career in music. And I think um, your overall personality and your attitude is outstanding, and you should be very proud of yourself Amen. and the rest of the guys as well. Amen to that. Thank you. Oh, I'm actually the coordinator for Hinton's Got Talent this Friday. and uh, Actually, Isaiah Brown contacted me about that. Yeah, actually, I messaged you on Facebook, and I know sometimes settings, uh, some of the messages go into the other folder, which is fine. But we were just, um, I know you're a busy man, but I was just wondering if you have any advice for the, um, we have kids ages 8 to 20 who are performing, who are performing Friday, so I was wondering if you had any advice for these um for the youth and um their performances and um possibly uh future careers in music yeah i mean just i mean one thing that i've learned from being in music is that uh if, if this is something that you want don't don't give up because i mean i've been told i can't even tell you how many no's i've got and it's i always look at it as that no matter how many no's you get, that one yes could change your life forever. So, I mean, just literally keep keep trying and keep going for it and keep shooting for the stars because I promise you, 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 can, you can do it and you can make your dreams come true. And, I mean, just when you go out there, just don't be, don't be nervous about anything. Be yourself. And that's, I think that's one of the things that took me the longest to ever really come to. I mean, was just... The fact that when you go out on stage and you're singing in front of people, it's really hard to really show your true personality. But when you do get to do that, that's what people fall in love with. That's um, awesome. So definitely, I mean, just be yourself and don't don't give up. Well, I will definitely relay the message to all the young folk. And if you get a chance, come on down to Hinton on Friday. We'd love to see you. Well, I'm, I'll try to make it down. All That'll right. be fun. We have some great uh, talent where actually some of the um, uh, performers have written their own songs. One is called Hills and Hollers, and that's, he's really good. So. That's awesome. Uh, well, thank you. and Thank uh, you so much for calling in. Uh, good luck for you and the rest of the crew. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Laura, thanks for calling. Let's grab this line. Hello, WTNJ. Who's this? Hi there. This is uh, Jody Worley, and I'm Colton. This is my cousin. cousin. Well, Jody Worley, go for it. Hey, Jody. Hey, Colton. How are you? Hey, well, we just want to say good morning to you, and we're glad that you're uh, doing so well, and we're proud of you. And the girls here at Bar H are listening, and and we're uh, just real proud. (laughs) Thank you. And, guys, just so everyone knows, Jody came with me. We're Team Colton. <laughs> Team Colton, yeah. My cousin Jody come with me to New York for my audition, just so everyone oh, knows. God bless you. God <laughs> so. bless you, Jody. And we were we had such a good time and Cindy was with us from WTNJ. Yeah. And we just we we just enjoyed every bit of it. it was and was awesome. glad that we got to experience this with with Colton and we're just glad I mean he's a very talented young man. And his uh, his family, he, he's got us all, uh, the older generation of us, tweeting and Facebooking <laughs> and keeping. <laughs> I have done my job. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we're all being connected be quiet, and, and I, I really thank uh, Colton for that well thank you Jody I love you I love you too honey very very much and and you have a good new year and we're uh, just excited and, and uh, waiting to hear everything for Restless Road you too thank okay, you okay honey and talk to you later alright thank you Jody bye bye honey family's what it's all about brother family there you go let's grab this call WTNJ who's this Emily Stapleton Emily where you calling from Shady Emily's in Shady say hi to Colton Peck Hi, Colton. Hey, Emily. How are you? Good. Um, this is actually a question from my dad. Oh. Uh, um, you wrote a song called Junk is Jeep. I did. And a year and a half ago, we bought that Jeep. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he was wanting to know if there would be a chance that you could ever autograph it for it. Oh, absolutely. I think that would be awesome. All right. I'd Definitely. I thought it would be really cool because how it's your Jeep and all that. Yep, you tell me the time and the place and I'll be there. All righty, thank you. Right. You're welcome. That's thank awesome, you. awesome, brother. That's cool. WTNJ, who's this? Hello? Hello? They're starstruck. <laughs> They're starstruck. <laughs> No You're going to autograph the Jeep, man? <laughs> that That's awesome. That's cool. I wanted to do it several times when I had it, but I didn't think it would be cool if I did it just for... All right, let me grab this first. My enjoyment. <laughs> Let's grab this. <laughs> WTNJ, good morning. Who's this? Erica. Erica, where are you from? Canada. Erica is Yes, Canada. another Canada. Hey, another Canadian. Yay, man. Hey. Woo. Go ahead, Erica. I called. I'm sorry? That was my sister that I called earlier. She's right beside me. Wait, were you the one? Were, so wait, were you the one who tweeted me that said that you just talked to my sister? <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> I favorited that tweet. See, I, I, I remember I these things. Out. I kind of freaked out, so that's why I thought I'd call. Well, there you go. You're on the radio. Go ahead. Um, I was just. My question is, uh, who came up with the name Restless Road? Oh, that's we we sat back and a lot of people asked that question, and um, it was. I guess it was mostly, I think me and Andrew think that it was Zach. I mean, it was kind of, I don't remember, we were throwing out names left and right, and uh, I think someone said something about, like, Wheelhouse Road. And Wheelhouse then, Road. And then someone brought up Restless, and then Zach was like, what about Restless Road? And I think that's kind of how it come together. I think we think it was Zach. Oh, cool. Well, we like it a lot. Well, thank you. Are you guys roadies? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Cool. Thanks for calling, dear. Thanks for taking my call. <laughs> All right. Man, Canada check in, brother. Let's grab this line see where they're from. Hello, who's this? Uh, yes, this is Stephanie. I was just calling to tell you that you're amazing and I love you music. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, you're amazing and love you mean it. Where are you calling from? Oak Hill. She's from Oak Hill. Hill? Yes. Oh, that's not too far from me. <laughs> Might have to make a trip over to Oak Hill. Yeah. I remember you when you played at the Oakley Festival and me and my friend were up at the front. You were there? Were you there? I was there. Awesome. Yeah. I hope I get to meet you. I know. I hope I get to meet you too. Well, thank you for calling in. You're welcome. All right. Bye. You done made her day, man. Making all these ladies' days. T and J, who's this? Hello. The star oh star. Found another. Hi, I hear you. Who's this? Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm from India. You're from India? Yes. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Talk to Colton. Hello. Oh my god. Hi, Colton. How are you? This is crazy. I can't believe someone's calling from India right now. I think I'm just as excited as what you are. Oh my god, I want. Excuse me, sorry, I'm like shaking right now. You're fine. There's no need to be shaken. You're fine. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe you picked up my call. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. So I just wanted to ask you if you have any nicknames for each other. Nicknames for each other. Oh man, for the guys. Let me 
Let me see. I know Zach. We always Zach is like he's the he's really funny and he always he always tries to describe himself between like a mixture between Ryan Gosling and um like Will Ferrell, I think is maybe who he said. He's got that kind of personality. So Zach, I don't know. We we always call him like he's the hopeless romantic one. But as far as like nicknames for each other, I don't really think. I mean, we call it. Oh, we call Andrew Andy, if that counts for anything, because his mom calls him Andy, yeah, so we get yeah, Andy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you, man. That's awesome. Oh, I love you. Bye. I love you, too. Bye. <laughs> All the way from India, brother. That's crazy. <laughs> Her father is not going to like that film. Right, hold on. Somebody's asking me a question. Uh, do you think that you'll do a tour of Latin America someday? Oh, I hope so. I they mean, say they're from Venezuela. They just sent me an email. That's awesome. Yes, I definitely hope we do uh, a tour in Venezuela. I think that that would just be incredible. I think God, just to huge. do a world tour would just be awesome. All right, let me grab this phone. Let's talk to somebody else. WG and J, who's this? Irma. 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 Say hi to Colton Pack. Uh, yes, I would. Go ahead. Hi, Colton. How you doing? I'm doing great, Irma. How are you? I'm doing fine. I just wanted to wish you the best of luck. You all guys have done a fine job and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank all you. All right. Have a good new year. You too. Happy all new right. year. Wow. There you go. Here we go. Let's grab this phone. WTNJ, who's this? Hello? Another. Starstruck one. I think it's another overseas one. I hear somebody. WTNJ, hello. All right, I'm going to cut him loose. WTNJ, good morning. Hi. Hi, who's this? This is Michelle. Michelle, where are you from? Pennsylvania. Michelle's in Pennsylvania. Where, where about in Pennsylvania? Near Hershey. You're a Hershey. Hey, can you bring me a Hershey candy bar? I would I would love a Hershey candy bar if you could bring me one. Sure. And Zach, you're actually not too far from Zach. Oh, Z yeah. Zach lives in Pennsylvania. And we're still waiting on some sweet tea. Sorry. <laughs> What's your question? I wanted to ask you what 3BD means. I'm sorry. Can you say it one more time? The hashtag 3BD on. Oh, ho. This this is one question I am under I'm under contract with Alex from okay. Alex and Sierra and Andrew and Zach. I promise you eventually at some point in time in our career we will tell everyone but what three I, I'm curious, what do you think three B D means? Three big dreams? Three big dreams. No, that's not it. I would have told you if you were right. So you and Alex came up with it? It was it was a mix. It was actually all Alex. It, it kind of came up when we were trying to look for the name, and this was oh, okay. an alternate a, an alternate name for us, and it just kind of stuck. And it was kind of like a little inside thing. And we always said that maybe one day that we would tell you guys what it was. Okay. Can you tell well, me what it was? Oh no, I can't tell anyone. All right, fine. <laughs> Well, I was really upset when you guys didn't get through the final because Alex and Sierra said that you guys would sing Hey Brother. We were. We were singing Hey Brother if we made it through. So, But I appreciate them. Thank you like for all your support and everything. Oh, totally. That's awesome. But thank you. And I, I promise one day I will tell you what 3BD is. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't wait until you guys put out your album because I'm definitely going to get it. I might do it in small print on the last album. Very okay. small print. <laughs> No, but thank you, and have a happy new year. You too. All right, bye. All right, Colton, I'll tell you what, we're going to take one more call. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up with your song, Wanted, from the show. Sweet. So we'll take one more call, and then I'll have some closing comments from you, then we'll wrap it up with Wanted and cut you loose. Oh, all right. So we'll get you some sweet tea, son. Give me some sweet tea. All right, let's grab his phone and say hi, WTNJ. Who's this? Hi, Amber Anderson. Amber, where are you calling from, honey? Well, I'm on my way to Danny. <laughs> Amber is on her way to Danies. Oh, where are you from? Um, originally I'm from Danies. Danies, losing Victor. Question for Colton. Take it away. 
Well, I know everybody in town is so proud of you. Well, and they put up the congratulations signs. And I said, I just want to see how it felt whenever you came home and saw the signs. It, I don't, I don't even know. To be honest, I sat on the plane and I seen, uh, I seen the pictures of the sign that says home of Colton Pack now that's up in Danies and I and I seen how they changed our road name to Restless Road and I think it's just to be honest, if you really want me I mean I'm already I already cried on national television. So if I tell you I cried on a plane it's not really gonna be a big deal. But I did. I mean it's just I mean I was so thankful and just it's it's crazy to think that I made my hometown proud. I mean that's it, it was just, I, I don't even know. There's no words to describe how I felt when I got home. There really isn't. Well, they are all very proud of you. Well, thank you so much. I do appreciate it, and you have a happy new year. You too. All right, thanks for calling. Colton, before we let you go, brother, any closing comments? Anything you'd like to let folks know about with Restless Road? And uh, anything you want to say to folks out there before we cut you loose and rock and roll with some Restless Road and want it? Yeah, just... Uh, Definitely be on the lookout for us in 2014, definitely. I mean, I'm thinking big things are coming from us. And uh, just think, I just want to thank everyone so much for all the support that we got on the show and even your continued support off the show. I mean, I think that that, that was one thing that just blew my mind that even when we got voted off, how much support we still were getting from people and how much they wanted to still see us succeed. And, I mean, just just please keep that up. Keep that up. That's a, That's what we need, and that's – you're and just thank you so much because you guys are the people who are going to buy our albums and you're you're the reason that we're here today and uh just just thank you really thank you well man we're glad to be a part of it and have a happy new year everyone you do the same and hey when the news comes out we want it first so deal. we can let everybody know. deal deal deal, deal. that's our contract brother well, i'm looking ours. at you all right all right and, and it's on tape too it is it's on tape i will hold you to that they've got me recording under cindy's court of law <laughs> Okay. All right. Colton, brother, I'm proud of you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for All having right. me on. Hey, glad you're here. Hey, we're going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Colton Pack, Restless Road, doing Wanted from the X Factor. Continued success to Colton. Happy New Year, my friend. Thank you. Happy All New right. Year. Here we go. My 105.9. Hey, everyone. I'm Colton Pack. I'm in. This is more than just a competition now. We gotta make sure that we are on top of our game. Uh, we made it. Yeah. Somehow Simon thought of this idea to put three country dudes together and it actually worked. Seven or eight months ago, we were just regular kids in high school. Now we're here. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. And I mean, we're one step away from the final. The song they're singing is great song, Wanted by Hunter Hayes. This is the chance to go, what well, is it, the kind of song we, we may want to put out. It's like a style and a genre that we kind of want to be like. This is the song that's getting you guys into the finals. You have to nail it. Yeah. We know if we work hard enough and stay focused, we really can win this. Restless Road! You know I'd fall apart without you I don't know how you do what you do Cause everything that don't make sense about me Makes sense when I'm with you I wanna wrap you up I wanna kiss your lips I wanna make you feel warm
I wanna make you feel warm.